Can I please? Can I please? Can I please? That is the issue. Oh my god. Big day for Uber Airday! <laughs> Oh my god! The heavy machine gun is one of the support weapons that has been recently added into the game. Launched together with the Quasar Cannon, which is arguably one of the best, if not the best weapon in the game currently, it's fair to say that the HMG has been overshadowed. To unlock the heavy machine gun, you need to be at least level 12 and have 6,000 requisition points to spare. Let me give you a quick breakdown of this weapon. Like any other support weapon, you have to call the stratagem down. In terms of ammo, it has 75 shots per mag, which in my opinion is kinda low considering it's a heavy machine gun. But it makes up for it in higher armor penetration and damage output. Its fire modes is basically changing its rate of fire. You've got 450, 750 and 950 as the highest. Reloading his weapon requires you to stay still for a couple of seconds, so do keep that in mind. One of the issues that you will immediately find with this weapon is that it doesn't have a third-person aim crosshair compared to its other MG counterparts. I can only assume that this is a bug since I don't see a reason why it shouldn't have one. I use this more against the automatons, especially since by the time of recording this, we have a major order of wiping them out. This weapon has had a bad rap and I think it deserved it. When I was using it, the bullets are not even hitting where the reticle is, especially at range. I don't know if it's an intended mechanic for this weapon, but having a bullet drop off at range would be kinda inconsistent since other weapons don't have that mechanic. When they said that this gun has a recoil, they weren't lying. At first, I underestimated it. I said to myself, well, I'm an MNK player, recoil doesn't really apply to me. But boy was I wrong. It's all over the place. The recoil is so bad that when you spam this weapon, you'd actually have more chance of stopping Valorant players from e-dating than, you know, hitting a shot. Now, it's not all bad. The way I critique weapons is it needs to fulfill two things. One, is it effective? And two, is it fun? Now let's find out. Against the bots, I had way too much fun using this weapon. Yes, I had to adjust on how its radical works and how to actually hit my shots. But when I did hit my shots, it destroys almost everything. With the exception of the Factory Strider or the 8080 Walkers. Those things are rare ass, and only having it counted once, there's not much chance to test weapons against that bad boy. When choosing my support weapon against this faction, I always ask the question, can it destroy hulks? And can it destroy scout striders in the front fast enough? The good news is that the HMG actually performs well against these two. Just a few shots to the hulk's head, they blow up. But do keep in mind that this weapon has a kick, so I'd stay away from going full auto and just tap your shots. Striders, you can just go crazy in their frontal armor. Devastators and Berserkers, you can mag dump them shooting on the non-lethal zones, but considering it has low ammo, I would recommend just trying to go for their heads. When dealing with towers and tanks, it's still the same as other medium penetration support weapons. You have to shoot the vents or the reactor thing is from the back in order to destroy them. But then again, most of the time, you're going to be using heavy ordnance against these things anyway, so I wouldn't worry much about it. Against the bugs, I can't say that this weapon is good against them. Having to reload most of the time, you're just going to get swarmed really quick. Its armor penetration is also not strong enough to pierce through chargers in Bile Titans, and the ammo efficiency is just so bad that Hordes are still a problem even if you use it against them. 
So, in my experience, it really underperformed. You could probably make it work with some builds, build crafting, or whatever you want, but I wouldn't recommend this. The HMG is still outperformed the weapons like the anti-material rifle and maybe the laser cannon, but if you want some variety that does the same job, it's a pretty solid choice. Well, just with the exception that you get you have to get used to its recoil and ammo capacity. You can negate that with certain builds though, like me, when I used it, I used the armor that helps you with recoil by 30% when crouching, and a supply backpack. And I can say that I had fun with it. Now to get back to the question, is it fun and is it effective? For me, I would say yes. Against the automatons at least. Did some hell dives with this weapon and I sure as hell had fun with it. You can try it out for yourself, but do keep in mind that you might suffer the first few times. Which I know, I know, it is not a good first impression for a weapon. But if you really want to diversify your loadouts, you're getting bored of the same old things, just give it time. Also, also, just a quick tip, you just don't use any other RPM other than the lowest one. 450 is the way. It has high damage anyway, you don't need to go full Rambo, you'd want to be more efficient with your ammo. Anywho, I think I wasted enough of your time. God, I hope not. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to check my latest video about fire buffs and breaker incendiary, you can check that out too. And with all that said, go back to spreading freedom, Helldiver.